Howdy, long time no speak. This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon 11970. Beautiful day today in Florida, 86 degrees, nice blue sky. And um, I titled this Rabbit in the Hat because I just want to let everybody know at this point, there's a change happening in the world that's probably never happened in at least recorded history, in at least modern history. I'm sure many of you could feel it at this point where what used to work with the lamestream media and Hollywood and, you know, the government isn't working anymore and people aren't buying it. And I think people are starting to wake up about being used. I mean, certain political groups, and I'll let you decide which one it is, have used minorities as a tool, as a way to take advantage of people. And you ever notice that once elections or something important is passed, they kind of throw you away like it's garbage. I mean, the whole purpose of a certain section of the government was to bring in millions of illegal uh, people to come into this country, give them free stuff, which is basically bribery, to get their votes. Because if you notice, every state that Kamala won was in a no-ID state. Makes you wonder who was voting for her. I would assume, if you're a betting man, and I'm just assuming, that it was probably mostly illegals that were going to these states where you did not need ID and voted because no nationalist that lives in any country would ever vote against their own country's best interests that to me makes no sense. But you notice now that the election is done that all of a sudden, like for example, in New York, they're not giving the free food vouchers anymore. So in other words, they were used, brought here for a political agenda. And then once that agenda was over, they th cast them aside. How many people in this world have to continually be taken advantage of and taken for granted and used for somebody's political gain. The good part is many people are not buying it anymore. And the reason I put the title Rabbit in the Hat is because once the magic is gone, you cannot trick somebody ever again. I mean, if you're a child, and you see a magician pull a rabbit out of a hat, you're blown away by that. You're amazed by that miracle as a child that you've never seen before. But once you realize, because I've said how many times in my years on my channel, that you need real eyes to realize, that once you, you find out that the rabbit was always in the hat, that magic trick no longer affects you. So, I'm not saying they used actual spells on you, but in a way, if they can manipulate you through repetition, as they say, tell a lie long enough becomes the truth, and they give away things, you can only do it for so long before people that were cast aside and taken advantage of say, hey, no more. That, their magic spells and their magic tricks are now gone. So this is a chance for all humanity to go in a direction it probably has never experienced in recorded history, where there could be a potential of no more wars, the potential of true freedom. Because no one wants 100% freedom, because true freedom means people are free to do anything, including the things that you may not like or you may not agree with. So anybody that says they want true freedom is a liar. Because true freedom would mean somebody could go into your house and take everything that you own. I doubt many people would want that. So, but we do want reduced governments. We do want governments to serve the people and realize they are for the people, by the people, and of the people. That we control their destiny, not the other way around. And that's why for years I was telling people it's like the Disney movie Ants. If you have not watched that movie, watch it and replace the grasshoppers with government and replace the ants with the people. And in the beginning of that movie, the grasshoppers, who were fewer 
in numbers, but larger and scary and used intimidation and fear tactics to get the ants to do all the work for them. Whether they needed it or not, it was irrelevant because if you watch in the movie, one of the grasshoppers, when they're celebrating after an ant harvest that they provided for the grasshoppers, and they're in, I think, Mexico, and they're celebrating and they have more food than they can ever dream about, and one of the grasshoppers questions the leader and says, well, why do we need to go back next year? We have enough for maybe 10 lifetimes. And the leader grasshopper opens up a container where there are, I guess, walnuts or something, or I don't know what it is, maybe seeds or whatever, it's, it's irrelevant, and throws one at the, the, uh, the grasshopper that asked about it. Said, did that bother you? He's like, no. And then all of a sudden he unloads hundreds and hundreds of whatever they are on top of them, either crushing, killing them, or at least incapacitating them. And the leader of the grasshoppers, AKA the government, is basically saying that we need to keep them in constant fear because this way they'll never organize. And we need to overwhelm them, not with numbers, but with fear tactics. And that works for a long time until at the end of the movie, the ants realize, because you need real eyes to realize, that the ants outnumber the grasshoppers a thousand to one. And once they unified, they were able to take over the grasshoppers. So it didn't matter if the grasshoppers were larger, didn't matter if they were scarier, and the grasshoppers realized our time is up, we can't do anything, because they've mobilized. And that's what happened this year. Whether you agree with the election or not, whether you agree with the person that was voted in or not, should be irrelevant to what this is a symbol of for all of humanity. That it's the curtain has been removed and the people are seeing that the scary monster is nothing more than a man behind the curtain. Once you realize that, you can never be scared again. You can never be intimidated again. Now, that doesn't mean they won't try, because like in the movie The Ants, you know, when the grasshoppers realized they were being surrounded, they still tried to act scary like they were. It just didn't have the same effect. And that's like when you watch things like the Clinton News Network and NBC you later, people aren't taking the news the way it used to be. When I was a kid, you listened to the news, that's what, ha what you thought happened. No one questioned it. And they took advantage of that. They did that before TV. They did it via radio. And before radio, they did it via newspaper. And before that, they did it with the monarchies and the kings. And they, would, they would control things. The church would control the narrative. But we're awakening to this. And that should be a beautiful thing for all of mankind. Now, we have to stay consistent with it. Whether you agree with who's in who's going to be in charge soon or not. You got to keep the feet to the fire. You have to make sure that they don't just do empty promises and then deliver nothing. That has been the trick for thousands of years with all politicians. Tell you what you want to hear and then not deliver on it. So we the people need to not just say, okay, we got who we wanted, if you're that on that side, and say, now we just sit back and just, you know, reap the benefits. No, you have to make sure that they do everything. And you have to make sure the opposition does things legally. This is our chance to create a world that no one's ever seen before. And that should be a beautiful thing for all sides. So let's hope you guys and girls see that and see the bigger picture and see what a beautiful world this can be. Because if the other person would have won, in my humble opinion, I really think the world would have chosen some very bad things coming that we will never see now. So take advantage of that and stop being used for somebody else's gain. Be stronger. Don't be afraid to question anything. Because even if you question something and you find out they were right, at least you know 
Because for the longest time, they got people to either believe something or not believe something. They have something in common. They have control over both of you. Because whether you believe in something or you don't believe in something, neither of you know anything. It doesn't say believe thyself. It says know thyself. It's time. Thanks for watching. My channel has been um, demonetized because YouTube doesn't like the truth. So if you can join my Patreon, it's patreon.com slash we love comics because my other Patreon, bar none 11970, doesn't seem to work for some reason. So if you could support my channel at patreon.com slash we love comics, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.